Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today I'm going to teach you how to install the soil stack and waste pipe system following a diagram. Let's do it. Right, the teacher has drawn a line where the teacher wants the middle of the pipe to be for this exercise. So let's draw a level line all the way up. Right, so we're going to measure up a thousand mil because that's where the middle, that's where this connection here is going to go to the middle of this pipe here. Right, so let's do that. We're also going to measure up two meters of end terminal, which is end for the for this exercise. And then uh, that is two meters. So so far I've got the middle, that's gonna go there, and then that is gonna go there, two meters. Now let's look at connecting and cutting the pipe. That's the next job. But what I tend to find, is, so when you want to cut the pipe, I find the best way to do it is to use a piece of newspaper. Wrap it round so it's all nice and evenly wrapped. You can then draw a nice mark all the way around. And that is where, okay, draw a nice mark all the way around. Right. Next job is because we're in a plumbing cottage, we can use a vice. I like to use a wood saw. We haven't got all these fancy tools that all these other YouTubers use out there. We've just got college stuff, so let's do it the old fashioned way. All right, so. Once you have cut the pipe, it's important to remove all the burrs. Also make sure you do a bit of a chamfer in the end. So let's do that now. So, using a half round file. Okay, then we're going to put a bit of a chamfer on the end. The reason we put a chamfer on the end is because we're going to push this pipe into this fitting and we don't want it to be too sharp so the seal breaks or comes off when you push it in. But also, when we push the fitting in, it's also good to use some spray just to make it easier for you. Show you. When you push it in, it's good to do a little mark, and you need to then pull it out 10 mil because that's to allow for expansion. So if you've got lubricated it well, about 10 mil for expansion. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah. Okay. Right, so at the very, very bottom of our stack install, we just can put this blank end, okay, because our drain's not going to go anywhere, but we still need it sealed so we can test it. Okay, so that goes in the bottom, so that's the bottom of your diagram. Right, then next, that's what we'll do. Let's push it in first to have a look. We built the bottom bit of this. Install. So I think we're ready to start to put this bit in. So let's do it. So the middle of our line and the middle of our pipe need to go here. And we need a 
Hip. to be in the middle and work out how, much, how long we need to cut this pipe. So if we cut it here, next bit of the diagram we're going to be looking at this top bit so let's let's have it let's measure 300 do a line downwards Set's going to be. So, what we can do, we can hold that, it's going to go like somewhere there. So, what we could do though, to get, the, to get this length of pipe, what we could do, we could pop that in there for a minute, just a little bit. So, let's hold that in place there, and we can then measure how long this pipe needs to be. So we're somewhere here. Right, 
right, so we now need to look at the top bit, okay? So the top bit needs to be there. So we'll transfer the level line across there. We'll then measure how long it should be. I have to take this out to push it in. Right, so now let's push this back in. Put it out a little bit. Right. Right, so now right, let's put the vent terminal on the top. Right. I was looking at the instock. I'll do one more clip here just to hold it in place so it looks good. So let's put another clip in. Right, the next bit of the assessment just says install a piece of pipe here. So, spray it. Let's push this one in. And then just put it out on the jet to see the mark. Right, the next, the next part of the assessment is we need to put some branches in. Okay. So we're going to be using, this is the modern version of a strap-on boss and McAlpine make these. So, um, so we need at the top 40 mil and 32 mil. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure, okay, to make it, we're going to measure about 200 mil down, okay, to the middle. Okay, so that's 200 mil to there. So from the middle, we're going to measure 200. Then we're also going to, make, going, to, going to measure from there about 110 mil down. Okay, all right, so. All right, so let's drill. Let's drill two bodies using a 57 mil drill bit. Let's do it. Depending on your time constraint, your colleagues may give you this piece of pipe already with the bosses on them. So you, you'll have to work out this piece of pipe and this piece of pipe to be a metre off the floor. If the college will give you this, and they, they may well do. Right, so what we do now is we've got the 40 mil one and the 32 mil one. So the 32 mil one goes on top. So what we do, we pull the key out. And we put it in the top, push it all the way in, and we just turn it, it says top on the top, and we just turn it anti-clockwise. And that is all you do. Okay, we'll put these in for later. Right, looking at the looking at the diagram from the centre of the stack to the centre of the bottle track, we need to measure 550 mil, and then for the 40 mil pipe at the bottom, from the middle of the stack to the middle of the bottle track, we measure 700 mil. So let's do that now. Thank you. 
Well, to cut the waste pipe, you could use a hacksaw. Or you could use a waste pipe cutter. You would need one for 40 mil pipe and one for 32 mil pipe. When it cuts, it leaves no burrs and you get a straight cut every time. Mind your fingers when using it. Right, we're going to be using push fit waste fittings, so 32s, which just literally a case of pushing the fitting in like this. All right, so what we need to do, we need to bring this pipe into the wall. So we're going to use, so I've cut two 45s and we're going to screw this in so it goes close to the wall. Okay, so I've cut this as tight as possible. So we've got the blue and then we've got the black. Okay, so. So this is going to look something like this now. All right, so what we do now is we hold this pipe work so it's level, like this, because this bit's falling. All right, so we need, this needs to fall 18 mil per metre. So what we're going to do, we're going to, Measure how much pipe we've got. So we've got about 300 mil. So we're gonna we're gonna make it full six mil. So we're gonna lift this pipe up six mil. So what we can do, if we hold it level. That's the top of the clip there. We just lift and we then measure up six mil. Which is going to be there. Okay, so let's. Right, now let's do the same with the 40 mil pipe.
The pipe length is about 500 mil. So if it's 18 mil per metre, we need to rise this about nine mil. So what we do, just like last time, put the level on it, hold it level, hold the pipe level, which is there. And then we mark it. We then to raise this at nine mil, nine mil. Okay, and then that is where that's what we do. We mark it with a pencil. Now it's your turn to have a go. Remember, take a picture and work off your phone, no paper.